the bikes you were riding and where you rode them and how how you rode yeah. sort of resonated with the way I ride so it piqued my interest immediately. I just think the overall quality control mm -hmm. like having built quite a few different carbon rims and different brands yeah. there was like just a level of um, God, I don't know they seem to be like every rim was the same. Yeah. You know, there wasn't a variation in that was a good one, this one's not so great. I think just again, like for the kind of riding that I enjoy doing and that I know that you guys enjoy, it just seems to be the, the best material. Yeah. Like it's it's stiff but it's forgiving, you know, the the ability to not worry about scratches or dints or having ridden carbon bikes that have fallen over and cracked. Yeah. It's not something that you have to worry about with a tie bike. Cool. I mean, I, I th it goes back to that thing that, uh, you know, I love what you guys do. And being from Melbourne, because I'm, you know, super proud of where I live in this city, it's, it's nice to see some world-class products coming out of Melbourne. Cool. So, yeah. It's not hard to get excited about it. Awesome. You know, the geometry in the ride comes down to being designed by guys that actually ride them. You know, you're not sitting in an office just following a trend. You build a, a proto, ride it and see if it works, tweak it and then get to an end result. And to have a product that's designed by real bike riders, I think that's, that's pretty important as well. And, you know, just have a look at the guys that are behind curve and that curve support it's you know some pretty amazing athletes it's yeah